Today I'd like to go over a uh, place I used to love to enjoy to come when I was a kid. And I'm glad it is still open. I don't know if the golf course is open during the, there's little mini golf courses open during the summer, but I used to love coming here with my friends and just shooting. Trying to beat the competition on who could play better. And of course, they used to love the uh, airplane over here. They got always <laughs> love looking at that thing just hanging up there. And uh, sparks a lot of childhood memory here. Like I said, I'm glad to see this place still kicking. I did when I was a kid a lot. Bowl, me and my wife try and bowl as much as we can, but I just wanted to put this on the map and it's everybody in the Lemons area. Get yourself over here and bowl. Love bowling. I used to love canopy, canopin bowling. But due to lack of money, of course, I pff, ain't been able to get out much. Of course, I gotta get a good shot at this so I can screenshot it later. But, yeah, that's another little place I used to enjoy to go. I like to always, I wanna always also mention this. The Tang Dynasty. <laughs> the, the only buffet in the USA with eight items on the buffet table. Eight to nine items, that's it. Who the hell goes in a buffet and only gets eight to nine items? What the hell? You cheap sons of... I went there for one of my football, my son's football things, and I also wanted to show this building. Yeah, and I was disappointed on the uh, rack of friggin' eight items. I was like, what the hell kind of buffet? But anyways, I also wanted to show that building due to Boomers. Popular bar back in the late 80s. Or through the 80s, I would say mid 80s. Early, you know, all the way up to about, ah. When the hell did that place close down, damn. Dumbasses must have been serving minors or picking up the girls like some dumb bars do, you know. And they shut down and... I support, you know, I... I mean, I did go in there when I was 17, 18, all due to the fact that my buddy, Mike Schultz, got me in. He was a lot older, but he took a liking into me in high school. I was one of his best workers, he said. One of them. But uh, he used to always try to get me out of shop, but because my teacher wanted me in there working on the lawnmowers and stuff, you know. I even got out of getting, doing greenhouse work at Monty Tech because the teacher there just said pass him because, you know, my work was good. And this guy, man, he always used to try and get me out with him and Monty Tech doing the uh, trash run, cutting the uh, Monty Tech lawn and weed whacking it and all that. And, but anyways, one night, I don't know, he said, hey, he meet me here. Like, damn, go to Boomers, huh? So I met him there and... <clears throat> And this was really long before my wife. And I brought a friend that was hanging around. I don't know. It was something stupid. Just a person I knew, a girl I knew. And I don't know. We were out there. <laughs> we got to the bar. And, you know, he walked up the front door. And he was like, <laughs> the guy's like, you ID, ID. My buddy Mike looked at the guy and said, he's with me. And that's all he said. And the bouncer's like, oh, okay, Mike. <laughs> I'm like, nice. It's nice to know some people around here. 
I mean, Mike, man, he's a popular dude, man. He's straight up. But you piss him off, he'll knock you the F out. And he's like six foot two. Me and him, man, used to down the rum and cokes together. I mean, he wasn't one. Of, he was one of my, probably one of my only drinking buddies that could keep up with the rum drinking. The other one, other than that, was my buddy Mike Torelli. Fifteen rum and cokes, and still kicking. <laughs> but we got out to this place, and one of my, I don't know, lighter stories of getting drunk and not remembering. But he had his, I don't know, I think he had a girlfriend with him. I mean, I just brought this person I knew. Uh, we got the floor, we're dancing. And uh, I had a long trench coat on with a round rimmed, uh, say like Jamaican hat type thing. Said Jamaica on it, but it looked like something from Gilligan's Island. <laughs> something Gilligan would wear, but it was black. A little bit more longer in the rim of the hat. Uh, I got out there. I was a, <clears throat> probably the first time I ever in my life hit a dance floor. And, uh, oh yeah, a neighbor of mine made it over there. I mean, he was already there by himself, but... You no, know, by the time I got there, this guy was sloshed. And he was out there doing his, we called it the Chucky dance. After that, because he'd be hopping in the middle of the crowd, jumping like friggin' Ozzy Osbourne on stage at a dance club. But, I, I don't know, man. <clears throat> I couldn't believe that night, but I was in and out of, like, getting drunk. So I'm doing my thing on the floor. And the person I was with, I started seeing swinging arms. So I was, yeah, I was dancing with the girl, and all of a sudden her arms started swinging. I was like, what the hell? And I look around me, and there was like five women around me, dancing around me, and I didn't even know it. I wasn't even looking at them. I was just looking at the floor, moving my body or whatnot. <laughs> what the f Damn! I'm like, some, what the hell? And this one's swinging like, get away, get away, I'm dancing with him. And it's like, oh my God. So the, the song finally stopped. I was grateful for that because I got off the floor. I'm like, I'm not doing this crap. Wow, that was just, pfft. I mean, this person was just someone I knew. I mean, yeah, she actually was trying to pick up my friend. Mike, so, <laughs> Mike was a ladies man back then, but you know, anyways, boomers, now it's a Chinese restaurant with an eight, <laughs> eight piece meal, that all you can get out of a buffet, oh my god, when I went to my son's football um, celebration after they won a Super Bowl, we went there and ate. I was like, damn, what the hell? We're gonna fill up on this. <clears throat> but, anyways, I don't know if I come, yeah, I come down this way. Anyways, oh, they might didn't know the store here. Used to have two different parts to it, now it's all dominoes. <laughs> Going down the lane here. I don't think I came down here. Yeah, I did come down here. Like I said, it gotta go down so many streets before you done them all. So I just wanted to share them stories and uh, give a huge shout out to Mason's Bowling Alley. You know, I used to love that place <clears throat> when I was a kid. And they had pool in there that my, me and my ball buddy Paul used to round about the town and hit the pool tables. And that's right, get on out there and hustle. 
this building here I am very interested in because I feel like it's got some dark history behind it. I wanted to get a shot of this so I can... Oh, I do got the camera on this so I can take it. I wanted to get a picture of that. I forgot I got that recorder on that has the camera. <clears throat> Something about this building and everybody head start program. If anybody give me some info on that building, man, that thing looks like something dark and sinister happened in that sucker. Get a vibe around it. But for some reason, schools back in the day, man, <clears throat> probably because you have kids maybe having turbo locus or, if I'm saying that right, or a bad sickness that, you know, back then you wouldn't know until they're dead. Ah. Uh, a lot of kids used to die in school. And for some reason, janitors like to die in school too for some apparent reason. Find their bodies in their damn basement. <laughs> this used to be Victory Market. Now it's Hannaford's. Of course, Hannaford's ain't doing too well. Old Fire Station is an auto parts store. I find that very amusing. <clears throat> Giving an insight to what it looks like now today, of course, on this street. I did come down this. I think I can't even damn remember if I came down this street. I think I did because I remember talking about this is going to be the supposedly the new police station. They're supposed to make this into. Another restaurant, anybody in town? Fat Boys. Oh, yeah, and I remember talking about this place. Used to be a damn mess. Now they surveyed the land, it's open all up. <clears throat> I don't know if there was a building over there, but I think there was. This changed out to be a lot of restaurants. That's the old Hot Wings, I believe. I think they said he moved from there to the small building for some reason, but that's what I thought I read in the stupid article. <laughs> <clears throat> well, like I say, give another run by the mill. I'd like to get in this fucking building and see what's in this building. A lot of junk in there, this river's through. <laughs> what is anybody doing with it? And of course, you got this new restaurant, the new shell looking station. All the factories over here now, buildings ran. Clements of TVs over there. Knights of Columbus. And once again, the Miranda's Pub, famous for its Bigfoot story. But other than that, <clears throat> come down the lane here. Try to still laying around, lingering. Here's the building I always go to and then that night find my ghost in there. I swear someone had to have died in that building. Probably a freak accident. Something crazy. Other than that, a couple stories down. Till our next video be safe, take care. Out.